evening and welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily if you're new here and today if you haven't guessed already we're doing a really easy step-by-step -step, no makeup makeup tutorial. This is my go-to at the minute and you need minimal products. This is literally all I'm going to be using in today's video. I will link everything in the description box as well so do make sure you check that out and if you do like the video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of my future hauls. It is free to subscribe and you can unsubscribe at any point but without further ado let's start the video. So for step one I actually have done this one already but I would say this is one of the most important steps it is your skincare routine. Just your everyday skincare routine will do and finish on your moisturizer. You want your skin to be dewy and hydrated. I have actually put my um, skincare routine on my YouTube as well. So do make sure you check that out if you want a little bit of inspiration. I will also link it in the description box as well. But for step two, I'm going in with my primer. Here is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer and I love this. It's so soft and subtle, but it works perfectly and evenly on my skin. And I actually do mix this one with my foundation. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation and I have this one in number four neutral. Um, but what I do is I just apply this one generously around my skin, just in little dots like this. I ju just use my fingers. I'm not bothered about tools at all. Um, and I think with your fingers, you can really allow it to um, soak into your pores properly. And I honestly use that much foundation. Like you do not need a lot at all. Um, but again, I just do little dots all over um, my skin, sort of around where I put the primer. So this is what it looks like. And then again, just using the tips of my fingers, I'm going to rub it in circular motions all across my face. So here is my base layer already on. I love the coverage this gives. It's super light, but it just evens out the skin tone and it also gives a really nice hydrated look. So for step three, we're going in with our concealer. I'm just using this one at the moment. It is my Jouer Essentials High Coverage Concealer. I have this one in color macadamia, however I do not like this color for my skin at the minute, I'm just trying to use it all up before I get a new one, um, but I would like a brighter one, um, but I just put this under my eyes, um, and I do apply this quite generously, but I do really work it in, um, and then over any blemishes that I might have, um, and then with one of these a little beauty blender and um, i'm loving this shape at the minute for the under eye concealer i'm just literally going to dab i'm not sweeping across my face or anything i'm just dabbing the concealer into my skin um, and i do this until everything is fully soaked in i would say taking the most time with this part is probably a really important step So once I'm happy with the coverage and that everything has blended in really evenly, I'm going on to step five, which is my blush. I'm actually not even been using a um, bronzer at the moment, but I've been using the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand um, blush from Charlotte Tilbury, and I love this product. I've just been applying a little bit on my cheeks like so, but then I also put a dot a bit higher up and also along my nose like along the bridge of my nose i think this gives such a gorgeous sun-kissed look and you honestly do not need a bronzer when you apply this so you can actually um rub this in with like a blush brush or something i think that also works well but again i'm just going in with my two fingers and just sort of dabbing it into my skin um, that way i can really control where i'm rubbing it and also that it is soaking into my skin and not just coming off on the brush So 
So you could actually just leave your skin like this. I am loving it. It's giving a really hydrated glow and you look like you're barely wearing any makeup. But we are going to finish this look off with step six, which is a mascara. And I am going to be using this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. I fell in love with this a couple of years ago and I've not used another mascara since, but I am nearly out of this one. It has got a little bit of a funny shaped head to it um, and it did take a little bit of time getting used to that but I just think it works so well and spreads the lashes out really evenly, giving a nice natural lash. I'm not even gonna apply any to my bottom lash today. I just want a really subtle makeup look. So that does conclude my updated no makeup makeup routine. I really hope you liked this video and I hope you found it easy to follow along. Um, I will link everything in the description box down below as I said before. Um, and if you do like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of my future hauls. But thank you so much for watching and with all your support on my channel, I will see you next video.